Steel Brands is a one-stop shop for conversion of scrap metal into certified structural steel. Steel Brands manufactures the highest quality and most trusted grade of carbon steel in very high demand throughout the construction industry. Steel Brands buys scrap metal from individuals, SMEs, corporates and virtually any supplier in Zimbabwe from as little as one ton of scrap. No delivery is too small or too large to be bought. Scrap metal, which has been polluting industrial, residential and commercial areas, need no longer be an environmental hazard. With increasing industrialization, mountains of scrap are piling up around Zimbabwe, so recycling and reusing of this metal is the modern trend. The reheating process will soon become obsolete as funds have been invested into the acquisition of a continuous casting system that is currently in transit to the steel brands factory. We are in the process of removing that whole operation and replace it with a continuous casting system which is a total revolution in steel making. It will eliminate the reheating process and ensures that all the particles that would have escaped the cyclone are totally eliminated. Steel Brands is committed to protecting the local environment and has invested over a million dollars into eliminating air pollution. Working closely with the Houghton Park community, a young engineer was engaged to design a grit arrester and an extractor to capture all pollutants from the induction furnace. Uh, they were having challenges with uh, smoke that was erupting from the furnace. Um, so we came in as sprint engineering um, and we did our investigations and we realized that the two main sources of smoke were the induction furnace and the reheating furnace. So here where we are is the induction furnace. So what we did is uh, the smoke that was coming in from the induction furnace, we as you can see, they will be melting their scrap from here. So what we did is uh, we came in, we made a wood to capture the smoke that was coming directly on top of the furnace. And then, uh, as you can see, this wood basically captures uh, smoke from escaping. And then what we did from there, we didn't want to dispose the smoke directly into the air. So what we did is we made a grit arrester, which is right behind the extraction wood. And what this grit arrester does is uh, it uses what we call inertial separation or a centrifugal uh, separation. What it does is we channel a stream of air that is particulate laden into the grit arrester and then the particulates are confined against the walls. The upgrades to the plant met world standards and a community environmental committee was established to conduct periodic tests to monitor pollution. We have even set up a local environmental committee to ensure that the environmental requirements of our stakeholder neighbours are taken into account. There is a notable change on the positive side. So I'm going to be black, I'm going to be black. Wakubda like a cloud or something. Ipa upagaita e change. Nanas, ini ndiri mugaru, ipa nundi lugara, ndiri ne opposite nao, ndiri pa duzi. Chokwa ndi njokuti, usa kusisina. Still brands ya kushanda, shakanaka, even in noise usiku. Yes, usiku kana uchibuda kunzi. Unogo na kunzi, wasichu nchiri mduze, ndiri mduze mabo. Asika na wa, wapinda mba wakurara, andina ma disturbance. Yes, ina mazwane. Smoke white. Safe cladding aimed at noise reduction has been installed while a cyclone eliminates potential pollution in the reheating process. Frequent analyses are conducted by government analysts to check for any sulfur dioxide emissions released during the reheating process. So as you can see behind me is the cyclone. This is a, a very big unit. So how it operates is that a gas uh, that is laden with particulates comes from the other side, coming from the reheating furnace 
and then when it goes inside the cyclone, we create a vortex inside of cyclone, a cyclone, and then as the vortex goes down to the bottom of the cones, then it creates a vortex that will rise up in the middle of the outer vortex, and then all the particulates that were carried in the gas, they get dropped into the water, as you can see at the bottom there. And then what comes out is clean air. Steel Brands is proudly fully compliant with Zimbabwe's environmental regulations. Two different things. As part of social corporate responsibility, Steel Brands have installed a borehole in the Houghton Park community, adopted Houghton Park Primary School, and had it computerized, thus providing direct and indirect employment and embracing the surrounding community. The issue of pollution from the plant has been totally sorted out. Now we turn our attention to the pollution generated by the residents themselves. We, as a community service, we have put up these skips in various centers of this community, but we find out that people, instead of throwing rubbish in the, in the pit, they throw rubbish outside. So we have had our own team of uh, people who come every day and uh, clean up the area around the street.